So just find yourself here with the shoulders over the pelvis and your palms maybe face down in your lap and your eyes closed. Take a breath or two that is deep, maybe a sigh. Now draw one hand to your heart center. Maybe here you start to feel the beating just behind the palm. So the purpose of the heart, heart space is to um, achieve a sense of union through the notion or the quality of love. Right? All um, are yearning for deep connection, for a sense of oneness, harmony, intimate connections. Um, even if those feelings might show itself through pain or sorrow or conflict um, or separation, um, it all is expressed from this place. And our heart space um, must learn to understand and accept our own personality, essentially because that's a prerequisite to saying yes to the people around us and to our lives. So, Maybe set an intention for today's class to nurture this area, whether it's just from a physical standpoint of opening to counter all the flexion and rounding we do through our day to day, or leaning into that subtle body space of love and connection, whether it's to ourselves or to the world around us. Glad to hear you'll be go home team. Let's take a couple more deep breaths in and out together to start. And gently open your eyes. We'll start to move through some cat cows here. If you want to lean into some music, you might press play. So from here, just start to flex through the spine, rounding, curling, drawing in, sending your awareness to your shoulders. And then the inhale draws you forward as you extend through the spine. Right? And just noticing what happens to the shoulders as you flex and what happens to the shoulders as you extend. And maybe even bring your arms out and noticing the natural movement and rotation through the arms and forearms as the hands move forward and back, palm facing. Just doing this on your own rhythm, that is your breath awareness. Let's slowly move to our hands and knees. So tabletop, cat cow. Now, if you have blocks or a folded blanket, I invite you to explore either propping your hands on your props or under the knees. I'm gonna do knees today. And if you don't have a prop, that's okay. Just work regular cat cow. But if you have a prop today, um, for me, I'm gonna do knees. I find that I find more expression through when the knees are elevated. 
So just take your cat cows here. Inhale, right? Extend the spine, draw the belly down as you lift up. You might even push through the arms to open the chest. Try not to lock out the arms. And then exhale, round. Oh, maybe you look towards your belly scape. If you need more sensation, you might even shift the weight a little bit forward towards the front of your mat space and then curl. And again, shift a little bit back. Inhale. Exhale, round. So explore your cat cow at your own pace, lingering where you need to. Maybe if you have props, you can switch the prop to your hands or vice versa to the knees. Just to sort of explore if those help you bring any added depth to the quality of your cat cow. Try to relax the face. And wherever you are, are take another round and we'll meet flat back and release your props if you have it. From here, let's warm up the core. So I'm gonna face you. So tuck your toes and then push into the, the feet as you lift the knees. If this is too much on your wrists, make fists to support them. So hovering here, right, set the knees down at any time if you need to. Try to broaden the chest. Now from here, we're going to pendulum swing the legs out to the side. So put them swinging, one knee out to the side. And I can keep the feet down as we do this and slow or go fast. Or you can explore taking one leg out, squeezing the glute, taking the other leg out, squeezing the glute. So keep doing that whether feet are down or one foot comes up. Try to keep the ankle and knee in the same plane, which is challenging. Stop and draw the knees down at any time. Last three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. And done. Good. Just sit back to relieve the arms. Come onto your toes. And then we'll come back to tabletop. Let's move into puppy pose. So from a stacked position of wrists under shoulders and knees under hips, you start to walk your hands forward of you and set the forehead down. Now, if you have a little bit more room to, you might start to sink the heart down a little bit. Open up through the armpits, forearms rest on the ground. One more breath. And then nice and slow, pick up the head, draw your arms in a little bit. And then we're gonna sort of inchworm our way forward to our belly. So nice and slow, start to set the pelvis down. And then lift the chest, pop yourself on your forearms for sphinx pose. Okay, your feet can be wide or closer together. Just notice what it does for your low back. Elbows underneath your shoulders. If this is too much to the low spine, you might take the elbows a little bit forward. The farther forward they are, the more you rest towards your ribs, the less sort of crunching is in the back. If you need more support through the low back, engage the glutes a little bit, spin the inner thighs down, turn on the legs. Otherwise, you can also completely relax the legs as you push through the forearms and open the chest. 
breathe some lightness into your heart space. Now from here, kickstand your right hand towards the left palm. Tent your left hand out to the side. Protect the low back, squeeze the glutes a little bit. Start to twist the chest to the left. Now think about trying to wrap, sort of descend that left shoulder down towards your gluteals. Other side, come back to 11 arms. Stand your left arm out, tend your right. Breathe in, lift the chest, twist, draw the right shoulder down and away. Breathe through your rib cage. And release. Nice, yogis. Come back to center. We'll move to down dog from here. So simply set your chest down. Slide your wrists under your palm or your elbows. Tuck your toes. Come up to all fours. And then downward facing dog with the hips up and back. Squeeze those upper our outer arms in. Push the earth away. Bend the knees if you need to. Express a little bit more length for the spine and the back of the hamstrings. And then nice and slow, shift forward, start to round a cat back as you move towards high plank. And then start to bend your knees and sit back to your heels. You can set the knees down and wide, toes tucked. Active child's pose. Inhale, come on up. Move to your downward facing dog. Exhale, arrive. Inhale, shift forward. Curl the upper back forward like cat spine. And then bend the knees, roll it, wave it back. Sit to your heels as the knees rest down, child's pose. Again, inhale, come up. Exhale, arrive, down dog. One more, roll forward, inhale, shift high plank with the crown back, and then shift your knees to bend, set them down, child's pose. Slow wave. Inhale, lift the knees, arrive on the exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, shift forward, high plank, Nice and slow, rounding, and then we're moving to upward facing dog. So the toes can stay tucked here as you level the pelvis and draw the heart through the arms. Knees and thighs off the ground. If you want to explore tuck, untucking the toes, you can. Otherwise, explore today keeping them tucked. If you have them tucked, you might shift the hips side to side as long as it feels safe through the low spine. A little bit of bend through the elbows. Feeling the shoulders down, away from the ears. Downward facing dog, so curl in through your or downward facing dog, exhale. Nice and slow, take some baby steps to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen, hands to earth or shins. Find that nice long left side and right side. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Mountain pose, push to the feet, flat back, come on up, sweep the arms high. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Draw the knuckles of your thumbs towards your heart space. Press into that, that space, so press your heart into the knuckles of the thumbs. 
to feel that chest open and the shoulders sort of come down. Okay. And we'll move into a back bend here. Your feet can be about hip width distance apart. So start to push into your feet, lift the chest towards the thumbs, and then take a little arch out of the pelvis. Think lifting up and back, so it can be subtle here. Feel the pelvis push a little bit forward. Draw down through the inner thighs, inner ankles, center of your heels. And come back to neutral. Nice. Chair pose, release your hands down. Hinge the hips back towards your glutes. And then come on up with the arms. Tailbone down, so it's a nice length from tailbone through up the spine, crown of head. Breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart lift. Exhale, step your left foot back. Drop the knee down. If you want to pad this knee, you might roll the, the, the mat in half. Come on up to lunge with your hands on your thigh. Take your thumbs to the top of the thigh and you wrap the fingers around the sides. Gently invite that right knee forward, finding expression of breath to send into it to the front of that left hip flexor. You're on the top of that knee versus right down directly on it. Lift up out of the low back as you open the chest. Maybe take the gaze up. Relax the face. Inhale the left arm high. Exhale, take a twist to the left. Bend your back knee, capture the heel if you can't today for whatever reason reach the foot or the ankle, grab the heel. Otherwise, capture the foot. Take your chest back forward, kick into your grip. Option here is one, option one. Option two, you might find both hands to that back foot. Reach, sit up tall, squeeze in the legs, open the chest. Reach the front knee forward. Maybe look up. And release, nice yogis. Downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, soften the knees, look forward, baby step or step or we'll hop to the top. Halfway lift, breath in. Forward fold, breath out. Rise, mountain pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, back bend. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, come back up. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Step your right foot back, set the knee down. Hold the mat in half if you need to for the knee, come back up. Thumbs to the top of the leg, fingers to the outside. Invite that knee forward with the uh, assistance of your hands. Breathe into the right side. Inhale your left, right arm high. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Bend your back knee, capture the heel, otherwise the foot or the ankle. Kick into your grip as you look forward. Continue drawing the left side forward as you kick into your grip. Option one, sit here. Option two, maybe you find both hands to the back foot. Squeeze in through the legs and lift the chest. Maybe look up. Nice. 
nice yogis. Slow release, move to downward facing dog, exhale. Inhale, round the upper spine forward as you come into high plank. And then sit on your knees. Knees will come to standing on our knees. Our um, knees about hip width distance apart, the tops of the feet down. Draw your hands to your low back. Fingers can um, face down. Well, more so your pelvis here. Squeeze the elbows back. Push through the shins, feel a lengthening from the shins to the crown of the head, and then start to take a back bend into camel. Lift the chest, lift the back into the front of the body as you squeeze the elbows. Create length through the back of the neck and head rather than collapsing the neck down from head to back. And release. Push into the feet, come back up, inhale. Exhale, take a seat on your shins. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, come to standing on your shins. Hands, one option. Otherwise, second option, hands to heart center. Push your heart into the thumb knuckles. And then start to take your back bend. Lift the chest, lift the front of the spine. Activate the thigh, fire the front of the thighs and look up and back. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, take a seat. Good. Now from here, we'll take a twist. So you draw your left hand um, to your low back, and then your right hand outside the left thigh. Start to twist to the left side of your space. And then exhale, flex to the spine. And then just notice the right back side of your body. Come back up to center, release to center, and then other side. Draw length, and then exhale, twist. You might even anchor your sacrum with your um, right palm, heel of the palm. And start to flex to the spine round. And just notice and breathe into the left back body. Come back up to center, nice and slow. Face forward. Draw your feet or your, your knees close together again and then sit your knees up and rest your hands back. Come to the tops of the feet. You might even round and curl. And release. Take a seat to one side. Uh, actually, spread your feet apart behind you. Find your calves, roll your calves out and then sit between your heels. You might need to sit on something. We're not here that long in hero's pose. Find the tops of the feet down and uh, your heels close to you. You might rest your hands on your heels. And just breathe the knees open. Palm the face and the shoulders. Notice the area that is your chest, is there an expression of lightness, of ease, and then we'll release, come onto your knees, sit to one side and come onto your back and lay down. On your back, your legs are long. Hug your right knee in towards your chest. Flex the ankles. Wind removing pose, squeeze your knee towards you, reach out through the left heel, the outer left thigh draws up. And then your next breath out, squeeze the knee towards your right shoulder. So the leg shifts out. Try to draw the right outer thigh up. 
And then supine twist to the left on your next breath out. Draw the leg up and over. And anchor back down through the right shoulder. And try to lengthen your left leg away from you. And just breathe. Excuse me, breathe the length of the spine. Relax through the neck and head. And change, come back to center. Stretch that right leg long. Observe if there's any difference between right and left. And then hug your left knee in, squeeze. Flex ankles, reach through that right heel, inner thigh down. And then on your next breath out, squeeze the left knee out towards the shoulder, towards the outer body. Trying to turn the right thigh and the glutes towards the sky. Exhale, supine twist to the right. Draw the leg up and over. As you anchor that left shoulder down towards the earth, try to lengthen the right leg away from you. And then breathe length through the spine. Nice and slow, come back to center. Just reach the leg long. Take an exhale, maybe an audible sigh. And hug your knees in towards your chest. Keep the tailbone down. Open the knees. Grab your big toes or the outside edges of your feet. Squeeze the legs towards you. And then open the feet to the sky for happy baby. Draw some length of the back of the neck without tucking the chin too much. And then you might take a rock side to side. And another option would be straightening one leg at a time. So straightening out through the heel, one leg at a time. And then bring your legs back to close. And then reach, set the feet down. Now step your feet to the edges of your mat and draw the knees to touch. Bring your arms out wide and your palms to the sky. Exhale the air out of your lungs. Take a deep breath in, fill up. Nice, slow exhale into Shavasana.
a deep breath in and out. Slide your hands overhead. Find a clasp and stretch out long. Lift the knees, reach the legs out long. Reach the palms away, stretch down through the toes, maybe even arch the back a little bit. And then roll over to your right side. And gently press on to seated, up on to seated. And then you can place your hands on your lap or let's maybe meet with our hands at heart center like we started. So you could sit on your shins or just cross-legged. Find the rhythm of your heartbeat just against the palm here. Close the eyes. With gratitude. Um, may you be free of inner disturbance, of any anxiety, of any worry, of any uncertainty. May you continue to feel safe and comfortable so that in whatever that you do, you can put your heart all into it. I bring my hands to Third Eye Center in honor of you and your light, the same light in all things. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and week. Thanks, Yogis.